We are Stephen and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show, we answer that and more. Stephen Jill here. Hi. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Putella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. Today, Jill and I talk about, really, I talk about web scraping for accurate mailer pricing. Jill adds some flair to it. Truth time. This was my topic. I love this. <laughs> you like web scraping? Yes. <laughs> I, I just said, can we please talk about this? I just can't talk about it enough. I think this is the greatest thing ever since I've learned this <laughs> trick. I do it for everything. I web scrape to make sure I'm buying the right uh, mascara. <laughs> you know what hair products friday tomorrow's J uh, jack thursday okay all right. do so i get a friday on friday it's, oh, it's jill one. friday okay so much fun looking at our property so you okay. can talk about i can talk about that yeah. oh darn so okay well i'll you let like. you fine i'll let you have web scraping this time <laughs> i might roll that into mine on friday <laughs> Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the landinvestors.com online community. It's free. Oh, and if you're already a member, you should join us on Discord seriously and not joking. It cracks me up that a lot of people in our group aren't on Discord. That is like 50% of the education value of being in Land Academy is Discord. It gets distracting though, because we, I mean, we have that and then we have the um, Land Investors online community. Both are great. Both are great. Okay. You know what I'm noticing since we started the Discord thing is that the people on Land Investors are all not in our group, even though there are a lot of people that answer questions on Land Investors that are in our group, mm -hmm. but the questions are from new people that are not yet members, but all the real questions and, and education goes on on Discord. Understood. Hello, Bobby. Bobby wrote, still new here and getting my bearings. First off, blessings to you all. Stephen and Jill and the entire Land Academy team. Thank you, Bobby. That's nice. I never get tired oh, of hearing that. Said, thank thank you. you for creating such an amazingly helpful community and offering so much of yourselves to all of us. So after a lot of research, I have yet to stumble across this info. I just wanted to find out what's typical with regard to the purchase agreement when selling land. Is it as simple as using the same purchase agreement to buy it? If so, do you... All have suggestions on any necessary modifications when converting the agreement. Thanks in advance. I use the same one. Same one. Doesn't really matter. If you're um, if you go to offers, the number two owners.com and you go to forms, forms, this is all free and it's all open to the public. Uh, click on purchase agreement and you can, mm -hmm. whether you're in the group or not, you can use it to buy and sell real estate. And here's why. Jill and I just bought a house. Uh we're going to flip it, but it's an extremely expensive high-end house that we that Jill got for an amazing price. I have never, and we got a mortgage on it because it was less than 3% because I couldn't make the math work otherwise. I have never signed so many documents in my life. I, I bet we signed our names. A hundred times. Probably a hundred times. Yeah. You know how many times we signed that purchase agreement when we buy and sell land? Once. And the seller or buyer signs right. it once. So this is my way one. of like yeah. sticking my middle finger up to real estate agents and the lawyers behind them. It's ridiculous how many times. This is not for a mortgage even. Mm -hmm. This is just to buy the, the damn asset. Right. And it gets worse and worse and worse. My favorite is, uh, not since we're ranting here, <laughs> <laughs> I had to sign a COVID uh, thing for a piece of dirt <laughs> that that I never even stepped on and got near anybody. I'm two yeah, states we over. Went, we're not, yeah. I'm two states over. And I decide this the COVID release form. I'm like, what the heck is this? It's a piece of dirt. We're not going to anybody's house. I'm not even there. It's so the real funny. estate agent that dealt with this house, we dealt with the listing agent. We don't carry a, a real estate agent of our own in our back pocket. Correct. We deal with the listing agent. Right. And she had no idea that there was another way to do this. Correct. None. She did not understand. She had, she's an idiot. Like, yeah. just truly un. She didn't know. You mean I could estate. submit the offer? We could just do it. I'm like, yeah, 
I don't have to have someone on my side. It's weird. Anyway, that's not what I'm not going to even tell you what she made on this house. I don't even want to. The amount of money. I know. So anyway, let's get back to this. Sorry. So, and, and back, back to the purchase agreement. It is this easy. Don't overthink it. Use the same one. And by the way, you can even cross stuff off and write it in and then sit, they'll still take it. For example, I sent an offer out to someone, say it's $4,392.55. And they say, make it five grand, you got a deal. Or 5,500, whatever it is. It's close enough. You know what, Mr. Smith? I'm totally cool with that. Just cross that off. Write in 5,500, initial it, send it in, and, we're, and that's going to be just fine. And sign the thing at the bottom, it's going to be fine. Okay. And that's what I take to open escrow. And they say, okay. There you go. Today's topic, web scraping for accurate mailer pricing. Good night, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Is that written in there? It should be. You should be written in there. <laughs> like Jill's day off. <laughs> this is what happens. Web scraping. Philosophically now, forget about the tech piece. Yeah, let's please describe this for us. Is going onto a website and telling a tool, a web scraping tool, what you want to extract. So uh, like a crawler, you know, it creeps and crawls throughout this website. To, to extract the data that you want. So in our case, so that we can get it into a spreadsheet so we can price pr uh, a mailer accurately. So if you go on to Zillow and let's say you say, I'm going to- uh, oh, Back up, like prices and size and, and dates any of, details days like on I can market. say. Okay. Um, yeah. Say, I'm doing it on, say I want to do it on Amazon. Let's just say I've, I may want to price all the, I want to compare all the mascaras. <laughs> You think I'm kidding? I can I can have it extract all the mascaras, all the manufacturers' names, all the prices, all whether they're Amazon Prime or not. I could do that. And In which theory. one? Like, let's say who? Which seller has the highest? What ratings. you're mining for is this. Which seller has the cheapest brand new right. Chanel mascara? Right. So and, I extract them all mm -hmm. to line them up and pick one. So for real estate, there's a you know infinite number of applications here. So, but what, what I use it for and what we now teach is going out onto Zillow, uh, looking at Mojave County. Let's say I always pick on Mojave County. Please don't send mail there. That's just why to, we use Mojave? Just, just use it as an example. <laughs> Mojave County, Arizona. And I scrape all the postings, whether they're active or sold. And let's say I only want five to six acre properties or five to 10 acre properties. I want to know what they're listed for, the price, how big they are, so I can calculate a price per acre, how long they stayed on the market, you know, and what areas they're in, very specifically what areas they're in. Maybe let's say what zip code they're in. So now I'm, I'm staring, when this is all done, I'm staring at a spreadsheet that tells me in 8-5 fill in the blank zip code, 42 properties sold in the last year. There's 12, let's say, <clears throat> active. <clears throat> in between the two, the price per acre is $822 in that zip code. So you can, you know, that's incredible information. So when I go to send mail to the other property owners that are in that zip code who own, you know, properties between five and six acres, I know pretty darn with confidence that I can sell properties, not because if the price per acre I, I found out was 882. I know I can sell property there pretty if it's got if it's good property for 500 an acre. So what am I going to offer? 250. 200. Some number like that that's a lot less than wholesale price which is in this case is 500. So am I dramatically oversimplifying this? Yeah, I am. There's a lot to this. It's complicated. Um, but there's a ton of education out on YouTube. There's a lot of web scraping tools. If you're a member, uh, we have a universal uh, key code, which we purchased from the developer for Web Harvey. You get it for free with a, a Land Academy subscription, but there's a lot of them out there. Okay. Let's just say I'm brand new. I understand this concept. I want to do this. What do I, what do I do first? Just sit on YouTube and watch yes. a bunch of videos and see yeah. which, which Web Harvey, whoever it is, sings to me and makes the most sense to me. looks the easiest to use within reason go because I'm because then I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm guessing that's number one and I'm guessing number two is you're right now spend a weekend on it yes there's Don't, always that's the thing that I see 
people getting hung up on. They're like, well, I got the key and why is it not working for me? Because you need to learn it. Well, that's a personality flaw. <laughs> that's not, that's with all software. Well, people do that. So I want to just, I want to let everyone know you are not nuts. You do need to plan on spending a weekend on this stuff. Please, please, let's just sit back and accept it. No one's going to do this for you. I don't care how you slice it. I don't care what group you sign up for. You need to, to look your, at yourself straight in the mirror, which she's getting at is that this is, there's takes a lot of time. It's hard, but it's very, very rewarding financially. If you learn how to do this correctly. Give and it a weekend and, and you'll, you'll get it. it's going to always change. You know, it's web scraping now. We just started using web scraping since the COVID. Ago. Yeah. So it's not related at all. It's just the time frame. You know, since Mar it was probably in the middle of last year when I really mm -hmm. started to use it for mailer pricing. And I used it enough to that now we instruct it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, you know, there's lots, and it'll be something else next year. Mm -hmm. It's very true. Think they got it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happy you could join us today. If you got it, did you? Did I explain it? Yes. Did I bring it down to the eighth grade level? Yes. I now know where to best buy my Chanel mascara. And it's <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't uh, work on every website. There are certain um, certain websites like LoopNet, for example have the anti-scraping software in them. Like I enjoyed a time, LoopNet gave me a timeout last year. Mm. They said, you, we don't, you don't need to be logging onto our website for a while. They slapped me on the hand. So you, so, <laughs> so excuse me, back up. It is possible to do it, <laughs> but they don't condone it and they will come find you and say, nope. Yep. That's uh, exactly right. For some reason, around? Zillow, there isn't one. Oh, well, listen to you. What's the workaround? That's Jill's first question. Not, are they right? Is it okay? Let's talk about it. It's their data, by the way. It's not my data. <laughs> What's the workaround? You are so the right girl for me. I have one in my head. I don't know if I should share it. Go ahead. What if I just hired my VAs overnight to do it? V VPN is the answer. Okay. Absolutely. VPN is the answer. All right. <laughs> I'm going to kiss you. Thanks. <laughs> Happy you join us today. We got to go. <laughs> Monday through Friday, you can find us right here on the Land Academy Show. Tomorrow, the episode on the Land Academy Show is called It's Jack Thursday, just for engineers and business owners. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. Yeah, I'll, I'll miss that one too. <laughs> I don't know why. So many members in the Land Academy are engineers. I know why, and I'll share it tomorrow. You know why. If you need access to any sort of ownership or property details, including owner phone numbers or FEDMA, flood map, overlays, check out neighborscoop.com. Created by investors, that's us. For investors, that's you. We are Stephen Jill. Jill. <laughs> Information. And inspiration. To buy undervalued property. You got me all flustered. You teased me. <laughs> <laughs> out. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows. 